Hey everyone, so this will be an unboxing of the On Brand tablet. This is the 10.1, the Surf. They also make a 7 inch guy. Uh, this one is 100 bucks from Walmart. They also, the 7 inch is about 50 bucks. Uh, so this is probably comparable to the Amazon Fire lineup. Uh, this guy is $100 compared to the normal price of the Amazon 10.1, which is 150 So this is about 50 bucks cheaper. Uh, now the 7 inch is the same price as Amazon 7 inch one. Uh, so this you also get $20 included from Walmart Books, whatever that means, ebooks. Uh, so I guess Walmart has its own ebooks, uh, which is powered by Rakuten and Kobo for new customers. It's a pretty simple box. It just says the same thing on every side. And then, of course, back tells you what it comes with it and some of the specs. So it has a 10.1 LCD touchscreen, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It has only 5.5 hours of battery. I believe the 7 inch only has like uh, 4 hours. It has 16 gigabytes of storage. And then it has a micro SD slot for storage expansion. And um, this one also comes with the keyboard. And see here, it has Android 9.0 Pi, 10.1 inch, 1080, excuse me, 1280 by 800 resolution, LCD touchscreen, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, 5.5 hours of battery life, 16 gigabytes of storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a 0.3 megapixel front and a 2 megapixel rear, which again is pretty comparable to the Amazon. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Uh, again, you can't expect it to be the fastest of things when you're only paying $100 for it. Uh, and it also comes with this. You guys can use that code if you want to. On the bag of it has the ebooks code, which I might, I might actually use that myself. So here is the keyboard. Come back to that in a moment here. Flip it on over, and we'll get to the actual tablet. Maybe. Uh, product guide. There's a model number for you. This has micro USB cable, and it also actually comes with a a uh, adapter. I'm surprised it comes with the adapter for 100 bucks. Let's go ahead and look at the tablet itself first. Alright. Now you can see there's this charge battery, power on tablet, select the language, connect to Wi Fi or skip, choose whether to copy content from your Google account. So that's actually pretty cool. Sign into your Google account, set the day and time, secure the tablet, and finish the up. We'll come back to that, show off everything that's on there in a second here. Look at this keyboard first, if I can get it out of the package. So for a hundred bucks you can get a keyboard, it's pretty cool. Uh, this keyboard's actually almost like a blue color. Uh, it's actually a pretty good looking keyboard. I must say. So you have a plug in here, of course. I imagine this will, is a this is a magnet. It should probably attach the back of the tablet. I uh, think they call that full size keyboard, right? You have a home button there. I uh, make these are a little bit small, but still, it doesn't feel bad though. Wow. So far, I'm actually very surprised. Ah, uh, there is no touchpad. This is actually a rather nice looking uh, keyboard. All right, so you actually have a headphone jack, unlike a lot of things these days. Volume rocker, power button. One speaker here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's a speaker there. The bottom here has the, for the keyboard. I guess these are also for the keyboard. 
uh, one more speaker. So it does have two speakers. So that's really cool. Uh, micro USB and micro SD slots. And you do have the camera on the back. And that's really about it. Uh, this is made China gives you this stuff. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the, the pattern on here very well. It's actually a rather nice looking pattern. It's almost like a fabric you look pattern. It's plastic, but it looks like a fabric. Uh, and of course you have the camera over here as well. So I'm going to plug this in and I'll be right back. Alright, so I actually don't mind the micro USB. I know it's older now and whatnot, but I have a super long, like, probably was 10 foot cord uh, from a long time ago that I, that I use. So I actually don't mind not being USB C. And for $100, you can't really expect it to be USB C. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it said 88% charged. If I turn it on here, see how fast it turns on. And then we'll do a, do a setup here. So on, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is Walmart's own brand. Um, I had a, an alarm clock from them that I used for a few years, had no issues with that. Um, I think I've had a few other on things I had no issues with, so hopefully this won't be bad. And this is a cheap tablet. Well, I said this keyboard is actually very nice looking and actually feels pretty nice too. That works very well. Alright, so it is on. Now is sure how to attach this keyboard. Alright, I'm gonna quit wasting your guys' time. So it didn't turn on, uh, it didn't take too long to turn on there. So we are in the US, or I'm in the US. Uh, so I'm going to attach, go on to my Wi Fi, I'll be right back. Alright, if you're connected to Wi Fi, it will check for updates. I figured out the keyboard, the back flap here, I thought it was magnetic. Uh, it just actually slides behind the tablet and then it sits like that. Uh, I'll be back once this is done updating. Alright, then after it's done updating, it took a probably a minute or two to check for updates and update. It's not too bad. Uh, then you copy apps and data if you want to. I'm going to say don't copy. Uh, I never do with any of these tablets. Then I'm going to sign in to email. And then once you sign into your email, it'll ask you if you want to bag up the Google Drive. Location, yada, yada, yada. Then you'll, if you want to protect your tablet, you can. Next is the Google Assistant. I don't know why it turned sideways, but it did. All right, guys, so I had a weird bug. I want to load in the Google Assistant. It said because I'm using a Gmail that I used with another account that already had the Google Assistant on it. Um, it, it didn't have to, it, I didn't have to set it up again. It was just going to take it off of that other device's settings or whatever. And it just, it got stuck on loading. It said it should take about a minute. It was probably about five minutes. Uh, and it was still doing the same thing. It just kept on sitting there loading and loading and loading. So I had to restart the device, which was easy to do. Of course, just hold down the power button, push restart, and it does it. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bug there, though. Uh, then I had to go through all that stuff again. But it already saved it all. It just had to hit, you know, accept and whatnot. And then this time it didn't even, it, it went right past the Google Assistant. It said it was ready to go. So, I don't know. It's a weird little bug. Uh, so you can also add in another email, change font size, or wallpaper. I want to say no thanks. Alright, and I'll come back when this is done. Hopefully it won't freeze up again. Or it's done right now. Alright. So, setup would have been actually pretty much as fast as any other device if it didn't freeze there or didn't have its weird bug go on. Um, yeah, first impressions. Give me my guys my first impressions. Aside from that little hiccup, this actually seems like a decent tablet right out of the box. Uh, I say keyboard is actually nice. It types very well, uh, has good feel to it. 
Actually, there's some depth to it. I don't know what I just did. Okay. That, that could be bad. Um, I mean, it has, like most keyboards, I mean, it has the brightness settings. It even has a camera setting. Or, apparently, that is a uh, screenshot setting. Uh, you know, you have your fast forward, zoom, pause, your volume up and down. Uh, your lock, unlock. I, I, it seems like a pretty nice little device. Uh, the nice little keyboard. It attaches very well with the with that. Uh, you can tell the, this is definitely plastic. This is definitely a plastic tablet. Uh, which, to me, isn't actually a bad thing. I mean, especially if you don't give this to a kid or something, they won't be able to break it as easy. To me, that's not a bad thing. Uh, I mean, the Amazon, again, is also plastic. Uh, I keep saying the Amazon because Amazon is in a similar price range. Uh, so this does come with the Walmart, Walmart eBooks, apps, uh, Vudu. It really actually has YouTube installed on there, too. Uh, the Play Store. Uh, so if you go again with Amazon, you have to download the Play Store. Easy to do on the Amazon, but it does not that does not come pre-installed with it, whereas this tablet does. Uh, you have Google Maps, you normal Google stuff. And if you guys go off of the camera, they want you to hold the device more like this than anything. Uh, down here, as I just hit, there's actual Walmart button. So that's kind of interesting. Um... Yeah, I mean, first impressions, this is not a bad little tablet for for the price. But again, I mean, I'm, I'm all, I'll am do a comparison between this and the Amazon on my channel. Maybe I'll do a review on this. Uh, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, if I do or don't. I mean, I, I'm going to do a comparison for sure between this and the Amazon. Is there, again, $50 difference, normal price. Uh, right now, Amazon's also 100 bucks, I believe. This was for Black Friday and uh, Cyber Monday yesterday. I imagine it still is. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the camera real fast. Oops, sorry, and I hit my actual camera. Well, that's not actually the camera, is it? Let's see. You guys see a glare. Uh, for being two megapixel, it actually doesn't look as bad as you would think. Uh, of course, you guys are looking through it through a uh, camera, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, stay tuned to my channel. Um, I will make a video. Maybe I'll do a gaming video on this as well. See how well it plays some games. Uh, it does have two gigabytes of RAM, so we'll see. Uh, I think 1.3 gigahertz per, uh, quad core processor. Um, yeah. Sorry about me rambling on. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. See y'all next time. Goodbye.